everybody, it's Porta Slab Train. Welcome back today, guys, to the channel for some more peak angle, man. Now, we haven't played this in quite some time, and there's been quite a few changes since we have been here. Now, first and foremost, I want to give a huge thank you to the Peak Angle Development team for sponsoring this video, and we have lots to talk about, man. We have a huge new update. Steam has now ported this over, so this is actually purchasable on Steam. So if you guys have not checked out Peak Angle, highly recommend doing so. I will leave a link in the top of the description box. We've been here many times, but this is the first time that the Peak Angle dev teams are supporting the channel and the series, so huge thank you to them. We had an update drop on the 21st of January, and it included the following man we have brand new realistic car visualization we have new reworked custom competitive mode which i'm actually excited to check out we have two new cars improved scoring added possibility to choose tires and styling menu improve graphics and textures and fix a lot of the bug improvements as well too so i'm excited to dive in for today and do a build test it out online ladies and gentlemen if you'd like to keep seeing peak angle on the channel don't forget to slap that like button all right, so we're gonna go ahead into the car store and pick up our first vehicle for today and looks like a lot has changed since we have been here now a lot of the cars are the same uh, but I don't remember an R35 and a damn GTR R34 being in here now I'm really leaning towards that R34 we did a build on the FC already uh, we have the KGB that actually looks really damn interesting we also have a V2105 god damn man some sort of BMW don't know the model exactly or I could be wrong man let me know in the comment section down below uh 3s coupe god damn we got some e30 action here i don't really remember a lot of these cars being in here we have a mustang we have an ae86 i believe that was in here already s13s uh some of the cars are not fully built in here so as you guys can tell they're just kind of rectangular blocks at the moment but i will guarantee you that they will be coming in very soon the pretender the challenger was the car that we got in man. that's one of the brand new cars uh, i'm really debating about running this the 3s coupe was the other brand new car that we got in here if it'll just scroll over to, why can't okay there we go should we run the damn challenger though is the question for today and i'm really debating about it i was really leaning towards the r34 but i think i'm going to save that for another build uh visual car model in development and coming soon wait okay i keep forgetting man we gotta purchase the previous cars before we do so uh so looks like we need quite a bit here to unlock so let's go ahead uh we are pretty much unlocking everything in our site uh and the pretender is still locked why are you still locked right now man we already got this yep okay now why am i buy why the hell did i buy that car right now? i don't remember buying that damn car at all okay well so from the mustang we go over we have to pick up that that's fine gtr 35 uh the r32 and then we go up to man this is like a maze just to get to this challenger but oh my god i did not know the mustang boss was in here but that is gorgeous though holy shit and then we come to our challenger that looks crazy man the challenger looks beautiful we're gonna go ahead and pick this up for 320 thousand dollars and that is going to be our new ride for today man i'm actually pretty damn excited to be completely honest with you now we're going to go ahead and take this out for a test drive as it is stock as you guys can see i mean a thousand and seventy three horsepower uh coming out of the gate i think we should be okay oh no no it says see that's weird though because the pretender on the left it says 739 but on the top it says unless that's what it's capable of getting up to if that's the case i understand that now man i definitely do we're going to run one just a dry lap just to see how we do and then we're gonna come back in we're gonna customize it and then we're gonna throw it out to some online competition uh, let's do a little offline practice man. I just want to make sure you know we know what we're doing before we head in with the big boys all right god damn it sounds gorgeous listen to this shit okay man it is awesome to be back on peak angle and you know it was crazy because i didn't really even know that this game got updated and then the game dev sent me a message you know saying do you want to do another one i was like oh my shit and you know i was i was pretty damn hyped man because i really enjoyed this game the last time that i played this and i'm really excited for the wheel to get improvements so i can you know continue using the wheel on this series because that was one of the biggest things that i really enjoyed hold it we just held that front wheel on there oh my god and, you know, I've always said this, but, you know, the drifting on this game was super satisfying to me. And I don't know if it's just me or not, but this is one of the games that I just could not put down the first few times that I was playing. Oh, my God. I'm getting too dangerous, man. I was riding that outside that whole time. 
fourth gear ripping. We're doing 130 coming down that. Car actually holds very nicely as long as you're not in the throttle too much. I mean, this is a dry damn tune right now. This isn't even tuned at the moment, and we are ripping the streets out, man. Like, look, oh my god, it's too nice, man. It is too damn nice. We're gonna go ahead and rip a little bit on the side angles. Yes. Third gear bird out, man. Now, if you guys don't know, we can fully tune this thing as well, too. So it's gonna be pretty damn fun being able to really stretch the legs on this challenger and hopefully hold some nice ass angle, man. That's the plan, though. Alright, so our first tune of the day. Let's see and uh let's figure out what we're gonna do. Now the tire pressure, uh, we're actually gonna bring this down. Now, as I did say, we do have tire hardness now i do believe that was a thing so i don't know where the tire style was coming in we have to try to figure that out before the end of the day um i'm thinking we're gonna go uh, with some softer tires on the rear we got a lot of angle on that i'm just gonna go with the front just to see how it's gonna work i don't know exactly how it's gonna be so let's figure that out the way up we're gonna bring that down just a little bit 73 to 53 i think will be perfect tuning applied per thank you uh, steering max angle now these I don't really mess with too much as I just hit that by I didn't mean to touch that uh, Front camber man. Why are we running negative five for the front damn tire? I don't understand that whatsoever. We're gonna bring down the toe. Actually, you know what? let's bring it up just a little bit I feel like we're gonna get some angle with this thing. We're gonna bring down that rear camber and uh, Maybe also to bring down that rear toe tuning applied. Thank you very much. Uh, dead zones and everything like that. I think we're pretty much good to go. We're going to give it a little bit more downforce on the spoiler. This game really, you know, you don't really feel the downforce too much, but I feel though uh, that that will be the best way to slide this car, man. Hopefully that is the plan. This is going to be our first run with our brand new two, man. Let's see how we do. Hopefully I didn't just screw this damn challenger up. Kind of sounded like I did right there. Oh, shit. Oh, not bad. Now the gears though, I messed the gears up because the gears are not supposed to be um, the way that they were here. So the gears I definitely messed up. We're going to bring the gear ratios back this way. And I think that should be perfect. Let's see. Uh, ooh, he dropped the gear and we are instantly spinning tires with this thing, man. Instantly. Now if you guys don't know, this game is based on points online. You get a set time limit and you go against real people real time at least that's what it looks like and it is pretty damn fun man this is one of the biggest things but why i really enjoyed this game because it just had endless possibilities of I, I screwed this car completely up man how did i screw it up that bad we're gonna go uh bring up the the tires back up to hard let's see if that makes any bit of a difference there we go we also softened up the suspension so maybe that was a bad idea i mean i just figured it was fully stiff right i mean why Ooh, we got that multiplier. That was pretty dope. 170 coming down right there. That is nuts. And we're holding. I think we nailed these gears, man. I really do. Key, though, of course, is to get as outside as possible to run these multipliers. Oh, my God. I went right out. Oh, no. We're good. We're good. Just, just tap it. Oh, my God. I missed it. How the hell did I miss that? Now, what I do like about this game, though, is that we actually have a clutch button. It's not, you know, something where you don't have a clutch at all. It really does understand that you need a clutch in order to slide. And they have made it sure that, uh, oh, my. All right, we're going to go ahead and do our first little bit of customization on this thing. I really don't know what to expect on here. Um, and I really kind of forget how to custom. Oh, right there, down. Upgrades, man. Here we go. Now, engine. Do I want to even do anything on the engine? I, I don't. Oh, man, you know what? We might as well, right? I mean, we have the money. Let's go ahead. Uh, that's installed. Everything's installed already. Holy shit. Okay, so I guess it comes uh, beefed up. Is that is that right? Because we're pushing a lot of damn horsepower right now. Okay. Um, let's go ahead. Upgrade that. Steering. Engine upgrade five is already done. Engine upgrade six, though. We can increase a little bit more horsepower. 739. And then uh, this is going to give us 196 extra horsepower. How much do we have now? 1,073? Are you kidding me right now? We have 1,269 horsepower on this Challenger. That is absolutely stupid. Uh, we're going to buy it. Yep, thank you. We're going to research it. We're going to buy it. Steering as well. Upgrade. This thing is fully built. We're fully built right now. I just really took a stock build and then just 
built the shit out of it. I'm super sorry about that, but you know, that's, that's just kind of the way that it happened. Uh, paint. Now, this was something that I don't really dive into. Oh my god. Okay, I'll dive into that though. Orange rims to match that shit? Yes, please. With the brake calipers? God damn, that's nice. Okay. I'll, I actually like the orange. I, I didn't save it, did I? God damn it. Here we go. These are the tires that they're talking about right now. We have Pro Compound Drift Legend Tire. I've never even heard of this, um, but I'm down to at least give it a shot. Drift Legend Tires. Man. Has anybody used these before? Let me know down below. Uh, we could... Oh my god these damn rims are nice i don't know what it is man but peak angle has always had some badass rims and i think the collection just got even better Whew. okay i already found the rims that i'm going with though man not the strikes no we're gonna go Ooh. the nymo f10s oh my god they're so damn they're all nice man look oh shit we're going with those ones we got to we absolutely have to uh we're gonna do the same ones on the front body can't be done spoiler though we could do a double wing are you kidding me right now man the double wang gang oh my god that's so stupid man no i can't i no i'm i'm not doing it man um what else do we have for exhaust we have a lot of exhaust tips and this is something that more games need to do man exhaust tips we have too many games that does not allow us to do exhaust tips now i'm curious because this is something that you know peak angle has always been pretty cool about is throwing on different things on top of your car now as i look at this challenger we're gonna change the paint because it looks stupid i'm um, gonna do hot dog taxi moon wolf shark and the pizza delivery guy man son of a bitch we're gonna go with the uh challenger cop because obviously you know you a cop brian because i think it just goes you know it flows well with this we're gonna change up the paint uh maybe just do a really nice black i think you know we're just gonna maybe or even a white no we're just gonna black it all man we're gonna be uh there we go i like it we're gonna do a uh, mirror chrome god damn okay well, that's a little bit crazy uh but i'm down to try it though mirror chrome for five grand and we are good to go this thing looks beastly man what's bonus cards oh okay the cash card i got you man now let's have a quick look at this thing here before we head on out to the track um it's a beast man look at it oh my god that ass though man all right we're going in we're gonna do a uh, quick competition maybe let's go quick competition and let's see uh who's in here it's gonna go free for all for the competitive no you know what we're gonna go similar car performance same league no it's just nah you know what if if we can do similar car performance i will like that because obviously the fact that we have a lot of horsepower so you know if we can run with people that are doing the same shit that would be cool airport 2 let's see if anybody is in here man i'm pretty excited looks like we're in i don't know man we'll see it's crazy to think about how many people are actually playing this game we can find a room that quick with this car it's it's pretty crazy to even think about look at everybody already we have four guys in here we're gonna go follow one of these guys right now i was gonna say i don't believe we can hit them but i figured i'd go for a shot man we just try it and if we can just do this we're gonna get no oh! i got a little bit scared is this guy just gonna do the same shit like i am no man we're gonna go for some damn combos here that was a terrible combo i didn't have no idea why i went this way i want to get a little bit of tandies hold on man come here Oh, oh, oh. I've yet to really get proper tandems on this game. Oh, we got some suicides. I got you. We're just running around with the newest car in the game, man. No big deal. Look at this. It's a beast. Third gear, just hold her. Give me the bonuses. Oh. Let me get my score down there. I have 992 until they look and see uh i'm about to just rack in some big numbers man this is so greasy right there throttle throttle yep yep look at this times 10 we're about to bank some serious damn numbers oh we'll be active in nine okay so i do like that it's like a cool down section for your run i really do enjoy that considering you know, if you don't um you know you'd just be all over the road trying to do the same shit all the time you banked eight thousand. that's it I swear I had more than that, man. What is that shit? Kind of reminds me of uh, Dirt 3 in a way with the Gymkhana events, which is something that I always love, man. I love doing those events. Oh, we just cut that man right off. 
I don't really see a map, so we're just kind of here doing our own thing. You have to be so easy on here. But I will say, though, the team has done a fantastic job and actually proper drift physics for a controller on this game. Now, it's not that hard. It's not that easy. But, you know, once you figure it out, it's something that you can really just, you know, sink into and just run some proper slides and just have fun. You know, it's not a game where you're going to get really upset about or really frustrated about. It's a game where, it's, you know, it's meant to really have fun with. And I don't know how I did not get... Those points for that shit. I'm gonna run that. Yep. Ooh, I was clean. Little clutch kick. Save it. I love that clutch kick. That is probably the best button in this game. That guy just dummied that wall. I, I seen you right there. Oh boy. Ooh, we're good. Where are we right now? We're eleven thousand. No, no. Oh, thank God. We banked. We're at 14K, man. We're leading the pack. Let's go. You don't want this challenger. Oh, I keep forgetting to go on the outside of this run right there. That's huge points if we can make that. We get the transition. Ooh. Damn, this thing is hauling, man. A little twitchy right there at the final, but that's okay, though. Oh, boy. Yep, 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 yep. Woo! Right, man. And we're going to finish 20 2,000 points. Did we come away with first place is what I want to know. I'm pretty sure I did, man. Are you... You're not serious right now, right? Come on, man. We got... We had to have finished in... Oh, my God. 1,000 points. Oh, not even, man. Not even 1,000 points away. I'm pissed. That's like 300 points away. Oh, my God. Okay. I see you. We're going to do one more here. We're going to go into event and see what this is here. I really don't know what this is going to be. We have German tuning and breeds. He's running 92,000 points on this event. Oh, my God. I don't know what to expect. I really don't. Maybe we're going to get to drive another car because I know that was a thing. We are driving another car. Little damn RXA. Look at this little shit, man. Oh, my God. What do we got to do? We just got to get damn points. Okay, we're just racking them up. I do like this, though, because then... We get to kind of test out other cars and see, you know, what they actually feel like. And the angle that this RX-8 is pumping out. Holy shit, I'm jealous. I thought my Challenger was, you know, actually doing well. Guess not. Ooh, shit. This is actually a lot, a lot more fun than I was expecting. Here we go, here we go. We're going to just try to swing this out. And then back in. You guys know the drill. Same line as the Challenger. But I will say, though, this has a shit ton more grip. We missed them because we hit them. And I really like that. It's not about, uh, you know, trying to just clip on that. You have to be perfect, and you cannot hit these. You have to be exactly right there, man. Times five. Give me that my multiplier. Let's swing this ass out on this one. We didn't get it? I'm pissed. We got about four minutes left. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna end up beating this man's score, so you know what I may do? I may just bitch out and, you know, just, you know, we gonna dip out of this, man. See ya. And all that shit. You guys know what I'm talking about, man. You know, there was a time where point shifting was okay, and, you know, it wasn't really, like, frowned upon. Obviously, it's not really frowned upon. It's just people don't like when you're trying to stretch out every bit of corner. But, you know, I've always said, though, point drifting and, you know, just to drift to drift is two totally different things, and you really cannot compare them. Because it's like, honestly, comparing Battlefield to Call of Duty, man. You just you can't do it. And, you know, a lot of people still do it. It's, you know, it's kind of stupid, man. We're going to finish off with 18,000 points. Not our best run, considering last time we pulled out 22,000. It's going to be good enough for probably about third place. Like I said, man, took the words right out of my mouth. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy Peak Angle for today's episode. Like I said, a huge thank you to the game devs for sponsoring this and, uh, you know, just showing support to the channel. Make sure you guys go check out Peak Angle down below in the description box. It's on Steam right now. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to slap that like button. And as well, too, guys, you can follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. All of which are found down below. Chibota Slap Train. I'm out. Peace.